That was terrible, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh god, we're getting blasted by gas snipers and rocket troopers again. Take cover! <laughs> uh, there's a fusion cell there, but I kind of want this guy to be... Uh, thrown? I think, because that'll be... There's that. Um, where's that fusion cell? Oh, oops, hang on. Alright, you need to... Why don't you do some work for me there? Tally hack him. There you go. Now we'll do that. That'll blow up one of them. He's hacked still. And there's a sniper over there that he's shooting at. Thanks, buddy! Now he's not too happy about us, but you know. Thanks, buddy! We'll remember you. Thanks, Tally. Alright, so... Hmm. This rubble looks kind of... fresh? Or... movable? I don't know. A mining laser, huh? That could be useful. But we don't have a code, do we? Yeah, we don't have the code. Nope. We gotta go find a code! So let's go do that. Uh, let's just get feel like doing, dealing with containment cells. They would probably be useful if it wasn't for the fact that the Geth were here. Whatever, we'll, we'll take care of it. Um, anything over here? I don't think so. Looks like just the back of these mining bunkers. I don't know if we can salvage anything from the rubble here. We might have to do some scanning from orbit after this is over, see if there's any valuable materials here. Hmm, storage locker. Here we go. Let's see what we can find in here. But yeah, as you can see, the storage lockers are all like easy decryption and all that stuff. Ooh, another bigger rail extension. Nice. They're all like easy decryption and stuff, so it's not even like. This is probably meant to be the mission you were supposed to do first, but. Whatever. I don't mind. I've only broken the game again. How does this always happen? How do I always play these games and then I just know how to play them in such a way that they always break? <laughs> oh, but we haven't gotten to the most uh, guilty break I've ever been guilty of yet. That will be in the next playthrough, if the next playthrough ends up being what I think it is. But we'll see about that. Uh, we don't have a mining laser code. Is there a console around here to let me look at that, or am I going to have to do this trial and error style? I think I'm going to have to do this trial and error style. Alright, that's fine. Everybody stand back, because we don't want the laser frying us in the process of uh, us entering this code. Let's see if we've got uh, X, square, try, nope, not, nope, not that one. X, square, X, no. X, square, circle, right. There we go. That wasn't so bad. Ah, and it blasted a hole in the floor. Nice. Let's move. I love how we're being so routine about this. It's like, oh yeah, there's you know a mining laser here, blast a hole in the floor, just keep going. It's like nothing can phase us at this point, because we're all like super high leveled. We've seen the Thorian, so I don't really think there's much in this galaxy that can phase us at this point. Uh, we're not in an elevator, guys. Are we? Are we moving? Oh, we are moving. I thought that this was just breaking a thing down for us. Oh well. Uh, this is going to be another elevator, I think, if we activate it. Oh, no, there's Dr. Tassoni. Alright, well, let's see if we can't get her out of that biotic barrier, although it looks like the console's right there, so we should be fine once we get to her. Sorry, I wasn't going to interrupt the action there, but then I realized I needed to make a backup save for the trailer here, so that's what we're going to do. Dr. Tassoni, uh, hold on, we'll we'll get you out of there. You'll just have to tell me how to operate this thing, because I haven't... I mean, the last Prothean relic that I came into contact with exploded, so uh, you'll have to forgive me for being a little apprehensive here. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Superior firepower, baby. No, that's, that's a Duke Nukem expression. It wasn't too bad. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even... 
I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. Hmm. Well, I for one believe her. I wouldn't use the word bastard to refer to somebody. I mean, Saren is kind of a bastard, but I don't know if I'd use that word for somebody who... Uh, it sounds like he... Like, we found out that he kind of took over her mother's mind with using Sovereign, the, the ship with the tools to take over people's minds, so she's probably a little pissed off about it. Maybe we can use that. If she was with Saren, the Geth wouldn't be trying to kill her. Also a good point. Let's get her out of there, then. I mean, I guess I'm a little bit of a tech expert here, but, uh... Jeez, you alright? Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! Alright, sounds good. I, I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? I don't Seren's think so. looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. He probably wants you to help him find it. Yeah, and the that's conduit, a good point as well. I don't know. Uh... What the hell was that? What the hell was that? Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Whoops. <laughs> My bad! We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Okay, so how do we get out? Joker! Get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister! Aye, okay, aye, I guess that's how we get out. Away. ETA, eight minutes. I don't know if eight minutes he is... He needs to move faster. Yeah, eight minutes I might be a little bit... Out. Kill him. <laughs> I, I don't know if you can fulfill that uh, contract, Rex. Pretty sure that's not gonna work. But yeah, I guess she was right. This is an elevator. Hmm. That doesn't look like we're too far away from the surface now. We should be able to get out from there if we can disable that barrier. Alright, people, let's move. Or we could wait. I'm guessing this is the Krogan that Dr. Jasoni was talking about. He might be reasonable. You never know. Don't. That would be more fun. Okay, not reasonable. You do know what's going on here, right? In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Oh God! Getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. Yeah, and I'm not handing her over to you. She'll stay with us, thanks. Not an option. Cocky Shepherd. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. He's not getting Kill it this him. time. Spare the Asari if you can. Not doesn't matter. All right, then. Okay, so we have to fight three Geth and the Krogan Battlemaster here. I'm putting the Krogan Battlemaster in stasis because he's an asshole, so we're going to do that. Um, actually, I don't think I want you to sabotage, Tally. I think I want Rex to use overkill, and then I want you to hack the rocket trooper so we can do other stuff in here. There's a sniper in the back there, but we'll take care of him in a minute. I think most of them have rockets, actually. He might, be, he might not be in stasis, though, because he has a high physics threshold. And that's a good point. I think I didn't actually manage to get him into stasis. We'll try lifting, then. Um, do I want to lift? No, because I don't think that that's going to work on the Krogan, either. Let's just try neural shocking him from here, and then, uh, Tally, why don't you sabotage that sniper's weapon? There's that. Alright, so he's on the ground poisoned right now, which is good. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the sniper. There's that. That guy is hacked behind him. What about this one over here? That's in Oh, the shock trooper in the stasis. Damn it. Alright, whatever. We'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Uh, you get thrown. And that. Uh, Krogan Battlemaster's over there. He's almost dead. That's kind of surprising. Probably Rex. I imagine he's the one that's involved in this. Oh, he's on the ground. Alright, so there goes that guy. The rocket trooper's hacked. Battlemaster, he's dead, and so is the Geth. Good, good. That went way smoother than I thought. Although we still have to get out of here. So, I mean... Uh-oh. Okay, well, at least the barrier's down. Everybody move! We don't have time! Go, go, go! 
We should probably go back for Dr. Sony though, because if she doesn't get out of here, we don't get, a, get anything out of this. Come on, people! We don't do exercises every morning for nothing! Although, is, are there really mornings on the Normandy? I suppose I would exercise my, my soldiers to make sure that we did everything, but whatever. Let's go, people! Alright. Well, we're out, and there's the Normandy, so... We should probably just get back on the ship there, Shepard. You don't need to look all badass. It's fine. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Now keep it in mind, we Joker. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Nah, it's just a tension easer. It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. <laughs> it must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those Geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. 50 years, huh? Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours, but among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Sounds familiar. It reminds me of a certain human race and the Citadel Council who doesn't seem to want to listen to us. But I think I know what happened to the Protheans, to be honest with you. Um, well, I guess we could tell her... But uh, let's see what she has to say first, I think. I think this might let her talk about it. It might give her a chance to... Maybe we'll get more background information on her if we let her talk. Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Hmm. So they weren't the first large-scale galactic civilization? How did you manage to come across that? Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half-century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right, and eventually I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Yeah, I mean... It's a hunch, but considering the fact that the Protheans uh, spoke to me in a vision, and then I had to receive their knowledge of their culture from another Asari in order to even understand the vision somewhat, I guess hunches aren't really something that we can dismiss at this point. So, who... So whoever came before them couldn't have been that advanced, could they? I mean, the Protheans are the ones that made the mass relay in the Citadel, so they... I can't imagine them getting too far outside of their own system. If the Protheans weren't the first, then who was? I don't know. There is barely any evidence on the Protheans, even less on those who came before them. I cannot prove my theory, but I know I am right. What about the Zayoff? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. So they perfected and it. And then, huh? like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. 
Well, I'm going to make your day, or rather, I'm going to make your past 50 years here, because I think I know what happened. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? Sorry, little interruption there. I had to take care of something there. But yeah, I received a vision through a Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. A beacon? Yes, that makes sense. But the beacons were not programmed to interact with human physiology. I am surprised you were able to make any sense of it at all. Well, it really isn't that sensible yet. It's just a bunch of random images, even after I got the cipher. The cipher? Some Asari mumbo-jumbo. Supposed to help the commander think like a Prothean. I don't know if it worked, though. Yeah, it was supposed to take time, although it seems to be taking a while. The cipher altered my perception of the visions, but it's subtle. I still can't make sense of what I'm seeing. And this was something another Asari did to you? Hmm. Commander, with your permission, I would like to try something. You were touched by the beacon. The visions are locked away inside your mind. One of my people gave you a deeper understanding of the visions, but you still cannot put all the pieces of the puzzle together. I might be able to help you. So you're going to do the little mind melt thingamajigger with me, and that might give me a deeper understanding of it, huh? Well, I mean, you do have 50 years of experience behind you here in terms of researching the Protheans, so you might have a little more information than the other Asari did. I mean, she just had the cipher that she got from mind melding with the Thorian, so she wasn't exactly an expert. But you're an expert, so maybe you'll be able to make sense of it. I'll do whatever it takes to stop Saren. Like the Asari who gave you the cipher, I can join my consciousness to yours. Maybe my knowledge of the Protheans will help clarify your vision. It's worth a shot. Relax, Commander. All right. Embrace eternity. Oh, is that something all of you say? Oh my God! That was incredible. All this time, all my research, yet I... I never dreamed. I am sorry. The images were so vivid. I, I never imagined the experience would be so intense. Are you, you are all right? You are remarkably strong-willed, Commander. What you have been through, what you have seen, would have destroyed a lesser mind. Come on, get to the point. What'd you see? The beacon on Eden Prime must have been badly damaged. Large parts of the vision are missing. Missing? The data transferred into the Commander's mind is incomplete. So we didn't really find anything useful is what I'm gathering. You sure you didn't come across any kind of clue or hint? Something we might have missed? Everything I saw you already know. You were right about the Reapers. The Protheans were destroyed by a race of sentient machines. I think it is obvious there is a connection between the Reapers, the Prothean extinction, and the Conduit. But I did not see anything that would help us find it. Well, that means there's only one person left in the galaxy who could help us with finding the conduit, and he happens to be on the opposite side of the law from me. What's our next move? Saren knew you were touched by the beacon on Eden Prime. He probably came after me because he feared I could help you understand it. I was able to interpret the data relayed through your vision, what was there at least. Find the missing portion, and I am confident I can put all the pieces together. All right, well... Then welcome aboard, because it sounds like you're going to need to be here for a while so we can put all those pieces together. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yeah, I'll get back to you once Dr. Chakwas has done her full examination. For now... We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Absolutely, Joker. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Commander. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. 
I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. I don't think that'll be necessary. If she does anything that, you know, might jeopardize the mission, we'll just throw her out the airlock. Liar is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Mm -hmm. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Oh yeah, that. Is that really necessary, Shepard? Uh, it's not that I don't care about the ruins, it's just that if we hadn't destroyed the ruins, I don't think anybody would have been going there for a vacation anytime soon there, uh, Mr. Counselor, because the Geth were kind of swarming the place, and, you know, it was, it was just a bad mission all around. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good I like the Solarian Commander. Counselor. Remember, we are all counting on you. He usually has my back in these sorts of situations. Alright, well, that takes care of that. As usual, the Turian Counselor was a big old jackass about everything, but, I mean, what else are you going to do? He's, he's probably the, most, the one that's the most opposed to everything that's going on right now. But, uh, I mean, I can't say I blame him. Everything in the galaxy is going kind of crazy right now, but... And nothing that he can really do can, you know, fix it. It's kind of something that I have to go do. Uh, we could talk to everybody else, but I think we're just going to talk to Liara for now, see if she's alright. Do I have full meta gel? I have an upgrade to do here. Almost a master barrier. One point off. We'll, we'll get it, though. It won't be that big of a deal. Metagel, didn't need it, whatever, got it. I don't think Dr. Chakwa says anything new about Dr. Tassoni being here. Let's find yes, out. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Nope, nothing new. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. We'll just check with the patient directly, then. What's going on, Dr. Tassoni? You feeling better? I know I'm checking a little bit immediately, but figure while I had a minute. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? I am. Are you all right? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Well, she is the best the Alliance can offer, at least in my opinion. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... Eh, it's not a problem, you know. It's just kind of the thing that I do, helping people. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. Well, I know, because if you don't, then we'll, like I said to the counselors, we'll throw you out the airlock, but we're not going to mention that to her. Let's just say I know and, you know, inherently trust her, innocent until proven guilty and all that. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. No problem. All right, so um, let's let's chat about your mother a little bit. There, we were gonna. I was gonna ask you about this while we were in the ruins, but the ruins were kind of coming down. Well, they weren't at first, but I figured you were kind of in a little bit of a spot there, so I didn't want to pry. But we need to talk about your mother here. Do you know why Benezia joined up with Saren? I don't understand it. She was always outspoken about the need for the Asari to become more involved in shaping galactic events. Maybe she thought allying herself with Saren would somehow be for the greater good in the long run. At least I hope so. Yeah, that pretty much corroborates what the, uh, what, uh, Shiala, that's her name, what Shiala said back on Pharos. This hurts you, doesn't it? This hurts you, doesn't it? Yeah, that's what I said. None of this makes any sense to me. I have not spoken to Benezia in many years, but I know her. And this was not like her. Something changed. Hmm. Maybe we can talk about your culture? Maybe then I can get a better understanding of where Benezia came from. And, you know, because if she tells me a little bit about the structure of the Asaris with the, you know, the maidens, the matriarchs and all that stuff, maybe I can get a better sense of where Benezia was coming from. Maybe she'll be reasonable when we find her. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council, and we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Although we seek to understand other species, 
It seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. Rumors, huh? Like what? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species and any gender. That seems kind of crazy. How does that work? I don't understand. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term, not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved, but it is not an essential element of the union. Wait, the true union is mental. Our mental physiology con allows oh, us God. to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. So we when we the genetic memory of their species, we share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. You were we actually pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. I just got you pregnant, didn't I? Ah, shit. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. Hmm. And I mean, if this is a case of like, I hate to say it, human and Asari, like if for some godforsaken reason her melding with me somehow, uh, caused her to be with child at some point how would that work in the long term you were sorry live for a thousand years what happens when your partner dies few sapient species live as long as my kind we have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions we do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners instead we enjoy the time we spend with them and even after they're gone a part of them lives on in us the union is a connection that transcends both time and space Hmm. All right. So it was <sighs> I'm a little uncomfortable about all this, but we're going to we're going to kind of try to move away from that topic and we'll move into something else. Do you know who Matriarch Benezia chose as her partner? She rarely spoke of her partner. Though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. So you Well, you know who, but you don't know? Benezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common, not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained, or so conventional wisdom would hold. I am what is sometimes called a pure blood, though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face. It is a great insult among my people. It is possible Benezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Well, I wouldn't jump to that conclusion yet. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. I mean, something could have happened to her. Maybe she passed away. You might be right. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for sure. Benezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. That's no good. I mean, I mean, we talked about that already with the age difference and everything like that, but I'm, I'm sorry you don't know your father. That must be difficult. I mean... Shepard's kind of in that boat, but she doesn't know either of her parents, and so that kind of becomes difficult in its own right. But knowing one and then not being able to be in contact with the other must be equally as tough. So, I'm sorry about that. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Goodbye, Dr. Tassoni. We'll talk to you again later when we do some more actual formal crew and codex stuff, which we won't be doing just yet, but we'll be doing that a little later. For right now, um, don't want to go sell some stuff. I don't think I really have to yet. Let's see how much stuff I have. I know the Geth gave me a crap ton of materials for like weapon upgrades and all that. Uh, I might wanna. That's a lot of stuff. I don't know. I'll. Uh, what we're gonna do here, I think. I'm not gonna talk to any of my other crew members because, like I said, we already talked to them directly before. Uh, you know, during the side missions and directly before we went here. 
So I'm not going to bother talking to them right now. When we do our next actual codex entry reading thingamajigger, we will actually go ahead and talk to them. Actually, I'm going to go talk to Joker while we're here because he has input on Theram. See if he has anything new to say other than the fact that, hey, you know, shouldn't land us in a volcano. It, you know, we can't land on molten rock. Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. I mean, are you sure you want a medal, man? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this, baby. No medal's worth that. Glad to so, see it my way, Commander, Joker. Why don't you tell me why you're really here? Oh, no, that was why I was really here, actually. I have to go. All right, see ya. But yeah, not gonna forget him in terms of that uh, whole thing there. But I appreciate the fact that Joker came in for the rescue because, well, if he didn't, this mission would be over, wouldn't it? But yeah, we will worry about the crew talking stuff. We'll do a more formal crew meeting, you know, meet and greet, chat around, and we'll do codex entry reading. But we're not gonna do it in the next episode of Mass Effect because we only have like three codex entries to read. And we should probably go report to uh, Captain Anderson about our success here on Therum and get a little more information on Novaria while we're there. But before we do that, I'm pretty sure there are a couple of other side quests that we have to do. I think. I'm pretty sure somebody asked us to do so. Right, we have to go to the Fortuna uh, system, solar system, in the Horsehead Nebula in order to take care of that thing with Hel uh, Helena Blake. What was the other thing? I know it was important. Can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe I'll find out if I look in the sky tonight, because it's actually on the moon, which is where we'll be going on the next episode of Mass Effect. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.